It's always such an amazing sight to see Tokyo Tower. I don't know if I'll ever get tired of looking at it in the city. From this angle, it just dwarfs over the buildings, but it's getting, in the whole scheme of the city, shorter and shorter in terms of size. It's 330 three meters I believe just a little bit over the Eiffel Tower but it might have been shortened I'm not sure but I can tell you one thing for sure I'm here and if you can find me I do have you found me cards I already gave a couple out some people saw me at the train station <laughs> and speaking of people who who are here in this area over there you see our friends Peter and uh, Carrie who is visiting from Australia hanging out in front of a cafe. Any lip readers here? Because maybe they're talking about uh, world peace. Who knows? Or the opposite, world deception. Oh, they caught me! Hide behind that black box. Let's go see what they're up to. And in this episode, we're gonna take you around uh, this area, at least Peter will be showing you this particular cafe area because he can't even go anywhere because he's on a motorcycle. Well, I can't go anywhere because people recognize me and start chasing me down the street. Oh, here you go, sir. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Carrie, let me go over here. Let's talk a little bit to Carrie here. Hi. How has your trip been, Carrie? It was great. Hi, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Other side of the world in Canada. <laughs> Hi, guys. What was your highlight? Oh, five this, day this trip having coffee Kyushu. with us. Yeah, having coffee with you guys and being on an only in Japan go live stream. What do you recommend people do here in Japan? What do they do? What should they do? Oh, uh, a tour of Tokyo Tower, which is just up the street here. I knew you were going to say that because of the man whose head is popping out from behind us. He's the voice of the Tokyo Tower uh, audio guide. It's crazy. It Welcome is. to Tokyo Tower. Yes, you've got to do the full tour right up into the uh, top floor and then you get all the uh, dulcet tones of Mr. Peter Von Gong. So what's more impressive, the view or his voice? Oh, Peter's voice. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, shall we walk a couple of meters away so he can't hear us? Here. Is that here. maybe going to be better? Here, I'm here. for that, for that uh, here, Carrie. <laughs> oh, I hate. Thanks. Here you go. Uh, no, 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 hey, hey, we just saw something. I, I don't even know if that's legal anymore. Let me get away from this cafe because there's people in there enjoying themselves. <laughs> well, Carrie, I'm, I'm glad that you, I got a chance to, to see you again before you leave today. Those, those, those. Yeah, I, I'm glad I got a chance to see you again before you leave today for uh, Parts Unknown. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. All right. Talk to you. Yep, yeah, take care. See you, man. Yeah, safe trips back to, uh, well, first where you're going and then finally, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great. Thanks. All right, see, see you. Guys. Enjoy your yogi. Oh, well, All right, bye. see you. Bye bye. All right, this area is actually, this area is actually kind of nice, isn't it, Peter? So you've been, you've been, so you actually suggested that we would meet in this area. What's so special about this place? Well, it's where it's the loud sirens from ambulances. It's, it's a nice area. Keio University's right here, so there's a lot of little good eateries. Um, and uh, Carrie was staying somewhere near here, so she recommended this shop. And this is called Passage Coffee, and I was this is the first time I've been here. It's quite good. They've got a really nice selection of drinks from all over the world. Um, so that's why we ended up here. Yeah, it was pretty good coffee, I, I think. Yeah, well, you're not much of a coffee person. Well, I could tell you that olive oil coffee that I had at Starbucks really goes through you. Yeah? Yeah. In what, in what way? Could, please elaborate a little bit. Let's not and say we did. Like? I could, I could use props to show you. Like like uh, adult, <laughs> adult safety pants yeah, let's, type Let's not go coffee. there. All right, yeah, okay. That's where you're heading with this? Maybe. Why don't you show them my bike? Is that better than, which is more impressive, the tower or your bike? Well, we'll start with the bike and then we'll move on to the tower. Okay. So this is, uh, this is my bike, my custom Bonneville. And uh, as you can see, 
kind of my tribute bike. My, I've been in Japan for almost 24 years now. Wow. Is he and touching I, himself? I wanted to have kind of a, a tribute bike. Oh. And my thanks to Japan for, for my... Isn't this the DeMilo? The, uh... This is Botticelli. Oh, Botticelli. Botticelli. Yeah. Uh, the birth of Venus is the right, inspiration. The birth of Venus. So I swapped out the, the original characters with some iconic Japanese characters. Obviously, we got, we've got uh, Godzilla here mm. and Hello Kitty mm. and the sumo tori, sumo wrestler. And instead of in the giant clam shell, he's in a dohyo which is the sumo ring. Did you know that before you created this artwork? Yes, I did. It was called? Okay, did. Yeah. And then Ultraman. Okay. I do one of the, I do the voice of Ultraman. Um, Ultraman Ginga and Zed. I do those character is that voices. Mount Fuji or are you? In Mount just Fuji happy back here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a, uh, a, a deciduous tree? That is not deciduous. I'm deciduous means I know what it loses its leaves. That, okay, I'm just that checking. type does not lose its leaves. All right, yeah, I know, because yeah. you're from that part of the world. Okay. Yeah. And these are cherry blossoms or ume blossoms? Uh, the cherry. They're what sakura. variety of cherry blossom? The cool ones, the cool variety. It's not so many Yoshino because and they're she's not She's got one in her hair. Isn't that cute? Hello Kitty cute. Okay, well. Well, we. And why yeah. is the sea green here? It looks algae. Well, you know, it's it's uh, green is a is a, a uh, auspicious color. Yeah, of algae and yeah, well, algae is good. Water. We eat algae here. We eat okay, seaweed. I'm just saying, it does look a little swampy in this area, like uh, Gilligan's Island. Luckily, most of them were in old Technicolor, so you can't tell exactly. Lagoon How swampy color. it is. This is basically. It's like a lagoon. lagoon. It's a lagoon. Oh, it's yeah, a lagoon. Okay, yeah, well then, that's, thank you. All right. So this this artwork was drawn by. Uh, an incredible artist named Court Jones. So if you're into illustrations, check out Court Jones online, incredible illustrator. And then I had so a world-class uh, airbrush painter named uh, Marcus Berlin Airbrush in Berlin. Wow. Uh, I sent the tank there and he painted it. So yeah, but uh, everything else on here is customized as well. I got a custom seat, leather seat. Um, I made the, I customized the, the covers here. I, wow. ox I covered them in silver leaf and oxidized it. Uh, yeah. How many the, CCs had these bags is this? made? Is, like, I wouldn't be legally allowed to ride this at all. No, this is too big for the. the you need a big boy license, John. Um, yeah, I got a um, small. You have the Chugata. A Chugata. Yeah. This is an 860 Ogata. CC bike. Wow. Yeah. But it's a fun, it's a fun kicking around town bike. Um, not a touring type, but more just having having fun, getting out. It's like Godzilla from this angle. Yeah. <laughs> that's Scooby Doo. Gosh, um, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you have any? So how? How's your? Uh, the last video that you posted was on the motorcycle show. How's that doing? It's doing very well. Tokyo Motorcycle Show 2023 uh, has 560,000 and change wow. views in two weeks' time. So very happy about that. Yeah, go um, check it out if you want. It's always the, the, the best rendition day of, uh, of, the, of the motorcycle show, I think, uh, on the YouTube. Yeah, I think so. Did put you it, focus put... on the bikes or the girls? Because I know that... Are there girls? What? Are there girls at that show? Um, yeah. I'll have to look into that next time. No, I think it's in your um, thumbnail. Ah, yes. Remember right. that now? Do, do you you're recall? Right. Now, yeah, now that you mention it, yeah. I can't, I couldn't tell if it was the girl or the bike. I think you cut up half the bike. Yeah, yeah, perhaps, perhaps. Um, but yeah, it's it's a fun show. There's uh, bike manufacturers from all over the world, and it's, it's one of the world's biggest motorcycle shows Yeah. right here in our neighborhood. So, uh, Please check it out if you're into bikes. There's a everything, or girls. something for everybody there, <laughs> or girls, yeah. or bikes. Yeah. Either or. Yeah. So, yeah. how about you, John? What's what's on the plate for you? Any new videos coming out? Uh, yeah, I just filmed. Actually, Scotty uh, from Strange Parts was here, and we filmed one at a vending machine uh, corner with the the owner of the machine corner, which is interesting. Okay. Yeah, uh, like why he started it and things like this. The background on it is fascinating. More so than the food. So I'm not sure why every YouTuber goes to do the vending machine food. The food is not, there's nothing special about the food. The story is the, 
actual the machines and the history of them are that and the owner it has nothing to do with the food and the stuff out of it but it seems like nine out of ten youtubers who do it it's about the food right so right. that's kind of odd to me yeah. the story but I, I always thought and, and he was really happy to show us he runs a tire company there and uh, I thought that was a fascinating uh, little When story. do you think this, this video will drop? Well, it depends on Scotty for this one, but the next one is the chicken episode, chicken farm episode. Um, uh, and then uh, right after that, the Sakura episode, I've been editing them back and forth. I it's used, a bit I late was, for Sakura, isn't it? No. That's like it's three blooming, weeks ago, it's, it's finished. It's not even blooming up in Hokkaido yet. Oh, really? Yeah, it starts, actually this week it'll start. Huh. You How better, do you not know this? You better get cranking for, on that. It's a bit. I'd say you're a bit behind the, uh, the it's curve. Not gonna, it's, it has nothing to do with the cherry blossom. It's just a, tr a thousand year old tree. It's, oh, okay. It's about the tree. Oh, cool. But it just happens at that time of year to be really beautiful. But the tree in, in itself is uh, um, a symbol of Japan I, I, because we can see even in your in your thing. Right. But you have cherry blossoms tank. on it. That's a tank, John. Yeah, yeah. your tank. You have cherry blossoms on it, so obviously that is one of the many things that is a symbol of this country. Thus, it would be right. I, it's something I should cover. What and where is this tree located? Okay. Fukushima. When I, I actually slept in the car, I drove up in the middle of the night. I slept in the car and got up at 5 a.m. They said I slept with a car. I was like, jeez. Oh, I, I, I Talk about did. desperation. Well, I had okay. a nice muffler. Look. It was zero degrees in the middle of the night. I didn't realize that. It was really cold, but I survived. You stayed in it all night? Yeah, and I, I didn't want to waste gas. So I kept the engine on. I should have kept it on. Oh, they had a big parking lot. Great, great uh, carbon footprint you left. I've been waiting for the, the city wouldn't allow me to fly a drone near the tree because of all the people there, and it's a World Heritage thing. So they're sending me drone footage, so I'm just waiting for them to send that to me. The city is providing that. Yeah, because they had a guy who did the drone shots for oh, them. Cool. So he said they would share that with me. Then they sent it with a logo. Oh. So now I'm waiting for them to send it without this stinking logo. Mm. But I'll probably use that Topaz AI um, soft, and then they send it in HD. I want 4K, and I'll right. use the software to enhance it. Presto change up. Yeah. Nice. You like that software? It's pretty cool, right? It is cool. Yeah. Very cool. Enhancing. Yeah. I, did you did you buy the paid version yet? You still have the watermark. Of course. Wait, the what do you watermark. think I'm going to? No. Oh yeah, I'm gonna upload it. I'm, I want to take away to the, the logos, but I'm happy with the watermark, which is <laughs> even worse. Well, you didn't tell me you bought it yet. You're playing with it. It's at two ninety eight dollars. Yeah. It's pretty much pays for itself the first couple times you use it. Sure. If you're doing what we do, you can upscale HD videos and make them eight K, and it looks pretty darn good. But the most impressive thing, this is not a commercial for them. What am I? Why are we like? But the, most, the most impressive thing was that I could take 24p, 24 frames per second, and make P's. it 240 frames per second in the super slow motion because it Ooh. does. The AI does a good job and of it's guessing. Smooth? Yeah, like butter. Parquet. Yeah, parquet. Okay. I mean, you you maybe can tell, but you can't really. Like it tastes like butter, but it can't believe it's not butter. It's not smooth? exactly the same. Well, even all within that, there's not all butters are equal, so. Sure, sure. Yeah, you, you've got your you got your ghee. Right. So, yeah, it, it's really cool. So you can do 120p from a 60p, and of course it will look better, but it does an amazing job of guessing the wow. thing. So instead of the jerky thing, if you were to slow it down without right. having, yeah, you, the AI software will fix it up. AI is having a big impact on, on this uh, industry, so you can either work with it or work or you work against it. Are we done, John? Are we done and with this table? I've seen Terminator. It's, John, I don't want to work against the machines. He can't. He can't hear me. So I'm just. I didn't gonna get talk a lot of sleep. Him. I think we're done with this table. So, yeah, Peter's gonna skedaddle, and I'm gonna walk over uh, to that station Go over ahead, there. You can say bad stuff about him. He won't hear and, you. And uh, yeah, it should be a pretty good walk. That, that's the entrance right there on the left side of your screen to Ko University, that brick building. If you've never seen that before, it's pretty neat. You can walk in there, the cafeteria is open to the public, but it's not cheap apparently. I, I don't know, I, I haven't eaten at that cafe in 20 some years, you know, like 15 years. I think I went in there for NHK in the school cafeteria episode. David Brown said he found me. I don't see David Brown. Where? Mm -hmm. 
All right, you're off? You yeah, I was just, I'm just putting those dishes away. Um, we're done with that table, right? I hope so. Yeah, we are now. Somebody took it. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so I've, I've got uh, nothing else really planned for today other than getting some food. And oh, so you were you talking while you were in there with the mic on? Oh, yeah. All right, so that was really great for those of you that were listening to two people. Yeah, well, one, only one of the conversations was worth listening to. Well, all those... You'll find that out in the playback. All the praise I was giving you was overshadowed by yourself. <laughs> Reinfor re reinforcing that oh, praise. Oh, you were praising yourself in there, I see. <laughs> Absolutely. It is. I was surprised you didn't walk into the restroom with that mic on. That would have been really interesting, huh, Peso? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk about 24P. Yeah. Well, that, no. You should have done Smooth 60P with that. Butter. Oh, Smooth God. Butter. Um, yeah. So what's on for you later? I'm, Did you have food? Are we going to get some food? What? Are we going to get some food? Yeah, we could. you know a place around here worth it? I mean, by the station, there were a ton of places, and the lunch rush is over in a minute. Right. So after one o'clock, things get a little bit better. On the on the back streets here, there's some there's some restaurants. I just have to be careful about the bike. Well, you can't leave it here. Yeah, no, I got it. Has to be within uh, within sight. Taking so. Your picture. They're taking your picture. Taking a picture of us together. Yeah. Oh, I guess I think it's of Tokyo Tower. Tell them that you're the voice of Tokyo Tower. Tourists, tell the tourists. That's all right. They're not tourists, I think they're Japanese, John. Somebody wrote in they... here, we can hear you pee. Is Tur. your pee as impressive as your voice? Pee as in Peter. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I could go in this direction or towards Azabajuban. Um, there's also that. Um, there's really nothing this way, I guess, is what you're saying. Well, yeah, there's, yeah, Azuba Jubon dead ahead, and then off to the left. Um, would ramen work for you? No. You don't want ramen? I'm going to diet. All right. Well, I mean, what, is it good ramen? Uh, here's a, there's a chochin right there. Right in the corner. Ramen shop right there. Yeah, I can smell it. It's, I'm not impressed. I am. You are? You've eaten there before? There's a Jiro ramen. Do you know that place? It's like eating a bowl of everything. No, Jiro sushi. There's a Jiro ramen? Oh, yeah, it's huge. Is it pretty good? You never heard of them? No. It's, it's a pretty big chain. I think they started off in, um, in Kyoto, right? Well, let me, uh, let me open up branches all over the place. I'm going to walk over here and have a look at this ramen, see if it's worthy of a John Dobb. All right, tell, we can still have your audio. Tell us what you see. Let's try it. What do you see? Ramen. We can hear you. Yeah, I think we should try it. I've got uh, tonkotsu, tonkotsu ramen, which is the uh, the oh, bone, the thick, heavy one. Yeah, I like oh. that. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. All right. Well, you're on your own. Well, what what else did they have? That's it. Just tonkotsu. Well, I didn't. I saw tonkotsu, and they had me at tonkotsu because I like tonkotsu. So you're gonna eat there? They've got tonkotsu. If you're gonna go, I'll go there. Why don't you go have a look over there and see if it's okay, something okay. catches your eye? All right, what? Don't don't say anything. We can hear you on the mic. This guy is so he can't tell. I'm using my ventriloquist voice. No, stop voice. talking. He can't tell. I'm not moving my lips. He Still is talking? so picky. He's so picky. You can't see me because his back's to me now, but yeah. In case you haven't figured it out, John this is this so This does look pretty good. Picky. It's a Hakata Isuite. And looks like you get it from a vending machine. Okay, let's take a quick look at the menu.
Um, wow, that has some egg, pork, gyoza. That's impressive. Now I can see why why Peter was so happy. All right, let's see in these, down this alley here. You were talking. I'm not talking. I was describing the menu. I'm not talking at all. I saw your drool on the menu. I found that. Did you? Yeah. From when you were over there. DNA analysis says you're hungry. The drool was on the tonkotsu, I bet. Yeah, right? you drooled all over it. Yeah, you bet. A thousand yen. It's so pricey, isn't it? You paying? Not for a guy like you. Your treat? You found it. Your restaurant. We'll see. <laughs> Are you in or no? All right, I, I'll do ramen, but I can't live stream in there. It's packed. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna, I've got to back the bike up closer oh, okay, to, so, that, to that shop. I'll see right. you over there. So nobody could find us. We were, we were quite hidden. <laughs> Down to a, from Mita Station. I came out here to meet Carrie. She's on, she's on her last day, and she's leaving to go back to Singapore. Peter told me that they were meeting, and uh, I had to come out and say hi. Uh, and that was that was a lot of fun. Lisa O is here. Hey, Lisa. Does the ramen shop pass inspection? It it didn't fail. It didn't fail. I'm, I actually have a sweatshirt on, and the sun has come out, so it's gotten really hot. And that coffee I had is sitting in my gut. It's so beats. So I'm not feeling. I've had bad experiences doing this. Backing up bikes? Yeah, sometimes they don't stay upright. They don't back. Actually moving forward when you had bad oh, experiences. Oh, right, mine was moving forward at traffic signals. Peter! Only people who have seen the Hokkaido documentary get that joke. Yeah, you enjoyed editing that, didn't you? Over and over and over and over. And I laughed over. every time. In fact, I started editing it again yesterday and I was laughing again. Oh my gosh. So I should be able to put up a shorter version in May of that motorcycle trip. So we'll finally get that out. We're making a shorter version of the 10 days we did last, uh, last fall August. of riding around Hokkaido. It's hard to edit it down because it's all morsels, delicious morsels. I, I would feel bad putting the whole thing up as is. We have to cut it down a little no, bit. No, well, it's, it's being chopped up. How long up. was it? An hour and a half, right? Yeah, 90 minutes. 90 minute documentary. Uh, Motorcycle and RV. You're going to do the RV one. I, I, I'm, I was going to cut it all car down. And, yeah. oh, oh, and have bike and RV. I'm just doing a bike, bike version. Oh, that's true. We don't, I don't have to do the RV, really. But then there were so many fun things that happened on that side. No, you need to do the RV. Oh, you told? Yes. Yeah, anyway, we, should, we don't need to talk about that on your show. Anyways, a version of it is coming. We gotta work that stuff out there. Tig Rahoff says, no, put it all out there. Can't do that. That's, that wouldn't be fair to the backers. All right, everybody, any questions for PBG? Give me a minute. It, it seems like there's no seats in there. Um, Do you yeah. have any questions for the people? Anything you want to proposition them? No, not really, no. Just, That's a good uh, thumbnail. Yeah, no. my squinty eyes in the sun. Um, yeah, what's your skin regimen? Looks good. I, just, I bathe. Soap? Yeah, I use soap. Irish Spring? Um, Lava? I like a lot. Do they still have that with the pump? Has little like little granule stuff. Yeah, in it. right. To get yeah, the grease like off. You don't Lava use that on your face, awesome. though. Well, you it's don't. like sandpaper. It's well, what do you do if hands. you got oil on your face? You got to lab it. It's nice grit. That explains why I look the way I do. Yeah, rough, no? rough around the edges. You don't use Nivea or one of those creams or anything. Nothing. I just yeah, it's stuff from uh, 
from iHerb, just normal bar soap. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You know, I use the uh, face pack every now and then. Oh, really? Don't you sleep with it? No, you saw me once, right? <laughs> That's right. That was hotel. before we got on the train to uh, the, the well, we I had took a, that train up to Was it avocado or to. something? <laughs> yeah. It, it makes your skin like feel alive again, yeah. you know? It, and get, and it attracts the flies. Male face packing is a thing. It's good, you know. Back in World War II, that's when they they had all the gunpowder. The the boys came home with the gunpowder in their skin, so they had this chemical stuff that removed it, and then they all looked like they were teenagers again. And that's how they started with that the chemical peel stuff. Is that true? Yeah. Wow. It's according to the internet. Huh. It's my source. Pretty good source. Pretty good source. Yeah, it refreshes and revitalizes, writes Jason here. Thank you, Jason. All right, looks Gun like uh, we didn't have any finders, but I didn't give you a lot of heads up here. But we'll be eating ramen, and if you're in the area, knock on the window and wait until the manager kicks you away, and then we'll come out out of pity and give you one of these cards. Yeah. Because I, I, I have... Because uh, he's got I, lots. I got, I got lots of them. It even has the old logo on it from before. Hurry. Let's go. All right, let's go in. All right, see you, everybody.